For question 2 you're writing a scoreboard class completely from scratch. The scoreboard keeps information about two teams, their names, their scores, and which team is currently active. So to start off with, our member variables, private string t1 name, to represent the name of t1, private string t2 name, to represent the name of team 2, private in t1 score, to represent the score of team 1, and private in t2 score to represent the score of team 2. Private in active team to determine whether it is team 1 or team 2 that is currently active. Okay, now for the constructor. Public scoreboard. It takes in the two team names as parameters, so string t1n and string t2n. It sets up the two team names, so t1 name equals t1. N and T two name equals T two N. It also sets up the active team to be team one, so active team equals. 1. That's it for the constructor. Next, we have a record play method that returns nothing and takes in a certain number of points. So, public void record play with an int parameter called points. If the points parameter is 0, then we just switch the active player. So if points equals 0, if active team equals 1, then active team now equals 2. If active team equals 2, then active team now equals 1. If the points are not 0, then we just add points to the points total of the active team. So if active team equals 1, then T1 score equals T1 score plus points. If the active team equals 2, then T2 score equals T2 score plus points.
that's it for record play. Last, we need to make the getScore method that takes in nothing and returns a string. So public string getScore. The last part of the string is the name of the active team, so we declare a string active team name. variable. If active team equals one, then active team name equals T1 name. Else, Then active team name equals T2 name. The string we have to return for get score is the score of team one plus a hyphen. Plus the score of team two. plus a hyphen, plus the name of the active team. That's it for get score and for question two.